Hi, it's Liz from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me for another Simple Stamping Saturday. So, what have I got in store for you today? Something a little different. Still simple stamping. Well, not so much simple stamping as simple card making, and it's not a kit. So let me drop the camera down. And this is what I'm going to be using. So this is one of those lovely cut apart sheets from the, what do we call it? Them Bones 12 by 12 paper. I am not a great Halloween fanatic, but a little bit of Halloween, I can just about get my head around. So I will be showing you the other cards that I have made, but first of all, I'm gonna show you the papers because they are actually quite special. So this has got Boo and Eek all the way across it. Um, so lots of Halloween reference there. As I say, this is a cut apart sheet. We've got, where's the top, there's the top. We've got skeletons and they're not just human skeletons. We've got a dog and a cat as well. Uh, with a hound's check, hound's tooth check on the back. We've got one of these lovely um, instant card border pieces. I have made a project already using this. I will not tell you what I've made with it just yet. Don't want to spoil the fun. Um, but let's just say it's not cards. I should say on the back, hound's tooth check. But let's get the scrappity scrap. Can you see? Faces. So they're actually bats, um, which is just fun, really. So it is a hands tooth check, but it's a hands tooth check with a difference. The reverse, as I say, of the skeletons is hands tooth. Lots of um, gravestones, tombs, and a check on the back of that, so a plaid. This um, skeleton and bat with stars and moons motif, and it's all aged so it's not a flat surface. Bones on the back. This is the um, border piece that I told you about. Now this is not Halloween. This is just a not quite diagonal stripe. But on the back we've got bats and stars and moon. And I think that's the last pattern. Yes it is. So the colour palette is black, pecan pie, Cajun craze and I want to say starry sky. Yes, got it right. So, now, when I do simple stamping, or simple card making, where have I put my card? There it is. Um, I always start with a note card and envelope, and I have a note card and an envelope. And on the, inside, uh, on the outside, I'm going to put the trick or treat, which is this panel. I have had to cut it down a little bit just to get an even border all the way round, um, but that's just me. But you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cut aparts. Now, obviously, you can, if there's a pattern on the front you don't particularly like, you can always use the back. So you've got the boo and eek motif on the back. However, I'm just going to use this, and that's all I'm going to do. That simple. I am going to cover the envelope flap. So I will show you that. But this really is fast uh, card making. And you could theoretically just do all of them with just the piece of paper from the um, from the cut apart. I mean, some of them would be a bit boring. Hound's tooth. Wow. Um, but theoretically, you could. As I said, I've taken a little bit off top and bottom just so that I've got an even border. And then let's fold my card, find my bone folder, which is very appropriate for them bones. Now, this coming week, I am going to be going off to Las Vegas, but I won't be abandoning you. I will be leaving videos don't know quite how many yet but I will be there's more than one um, one of them obviously will go live on Tuesday um, may not be the usual hour but it will go live on Tuesday just so that there's something to fill the gap now the envelope um, I'm going to cover just the flap I've got the skeleton paper which has got bones on back I could use the bones but I think for this card the skeletons were a better idea and you need to make sure you put them on the right way up 
because when this is folded down you want the heads towards the um, fold so that's the heads so all I'm going to do is add some liquid adhesive to my flap and I'm just going to come about I don't know between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch from the edge ish it's not vital and then a bit of a scribble just so the middle bit sticks and I'm going to triple check that's the heads and I want that towards the flap so let me line this up so that the cut edge is on the score line like that and then I can press down keep my fingers crossed yes I did get it the right way up you never know and then just take my snips and run them around the edge of the envelope flap and it doesn't matter if you're not perfectly aligned because it is only the envelope flap there won't be envelope flap police so if you're a bit wibbly don't worry that is scrap so that is our really quick card that including showing the paper took six and a half minutes so what have I done with the other pieces so let me start with the more more simple versions so I'll start with another note card and envelope and this time I've used the um, headstones because this is the one that I've used for this card which is this piece here really simple and the headstones seem to just be perfect for that so that's that one then I brought in some of the memories and more cards because some of these pieces particularly these ones are quite small so I thought I would bring in a couple of those so I've got one that is really really difficult to do again boo which uses the boo again cut down a little bit with some of this um, again cut down a little bit but that's that one then for the Cajun Craze Moon and Bats, I've just heat embossed with black embossing the Happy Halloween from oh, Bag of Bones. So Happy Halloween and the two different sorts of bat. One, two. There are 23 stamps in this set. Admittedly, some of them are just bones. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> <coughs> that would be very leftover COVID. Um, so lots you can have such fun with this stamp set so that's what i've done with that and then i've just mounted it on a piece of cajun craze card then if we step up a little this is the first one i've got which uses let me just show you i've used this piece this piece and this piece so those three pieces i know three pieces on one card so this is that um and it's the human skeleton and the pussycat in the spotlight which i thought was fun and i've done it in silver it may be better in white but i liked that slightly ethereal look and i've used some of the glow in the dark bats um, to marry up with the bats that are there already so that's that one and this is on a large memories and more card and the matching envelope for that uses the plaid so that's that one which just leaves me with this piece here which just cries out for a seam so I've done a seam so this is the one I've done and I've taken skeletons from not that piece skeletons from this piece so I just cut the side piece off um, it's not a large piece at all uh, just cut the side piece off and die cut um, a cat and a dog and various skeletons and I quite liked the fact that this chap here was kind of looking towards this guy going come on be sensible because this one's being a bit mad um, and I've matted it on a piece of starry sky card so that is that obviously I've got a cat sitting on the fence you've got to have a cat sitting on the fence the fence is there so we've got to have a cat sitting on it um, so yes so this one I've got skeletons on the flap so those are the cards. Now let me just show you the dies whilst I think about it. There are lots 
how many dies are there apart from lots lots really isn't helpful there are 31 dies so we've got a fence we've got some grass we've got star and moons we've got just bones um a headstone and you can die cut this piece out of here so you can do a window um, element because um, this doesn't cut unless you use this piece um, a full skeleton various bits so we've got the body and various limbs uh, dog cat beret and scarf trilby that looks like the rose that's in the stamp set cowboy boots a heart um, a bow tie and cane, another bow tie, um, a cowboy hat, a top hat, the bats, pair of brogues, more bats. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, lots and lots of dies. I've not scratched the surface with what you can do with this. Now, what's quite, I think, will be quite fun, and I'm going to give it a go, is to do a shaker card with bones and this be the shaker um, element. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. I have got quite a few, bearing in mind I'm not a great Halloween person. I've got quite a few ideas for this particular set. Um, and of course I love the glow in the dark elements, which I've used on one of the cards. And you also get glow in the dark paper, which I think glow in the dark bones as your shaker would be quite fun. Anyway, so I've made one, two, three, four, five, six cards out of this one sheet, just using a little bit of extra card and some note cards and envelopes. So real fun. So if you need to make lots of Halloween cards, just a few ideas for you. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Let me flip the camera up so I can say goodbye properly. Thank you very much for watching. I will obviously have a blog post about this, which will be linked in the description bar below the video. If you've got any questions or comments, you can put those below the description bar. If you've enjoyed the projects, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And do remember that if you don't already subscribe, you can do that just by clicking the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Have a fantastic rest of your week. And if you follow me on Instagram, I will be sharing all the fun of backstage in Las Vegas. So um, do keep your eyes peeled on that. I, I know it's going to be an amazing time. Fortunately, the temperature is a little bit cooler than it was. I think we're in the high 30s now rather than the mid 40s. So for those of us who've not had a summer yet, it will be perfect. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.